Hello, hello. Today's video is a draw with me. I've seen a lot of people do this kind of video and I find it kind of relaxing. I uh, use a lot of my time making food or drawing or playing games and I like to have it in the background because it, it, it's like listening to someone. <laughs> Just yesterday I was having a conversation with my sister about love languages, like what love language do we have and we got to the conclusion that there are two types of love languages, uh, the one you're receiving and the one you're giving. Uh, there are five types from what I know, words of affirmation, like um, you like someone saying nice things to you like good job you did that or you're doing great <laughs> another love language is acts of service um in which you like doing things for the other person um it's kind of weird i don't know how people do it but it's basically like Oh, you need this done? Yeah, I'll, sure, I'll do it for you. Something like that. Another love language is physical touch, uh, where you like hugging or doing stuff, <laughs> but usually you like skin touch and skin. Like, a lot of things have to do with touching. Uh, gift giving is common. I guess it doesn't have to be a very big gift it can be like a rock <laughs> for all I care it, it's just like having the thought that you deserve something I guess <laughs> and the last one is quality time where you just spend time with the other person it doesn't have to be talking or necessarily having to talk with each other or do something together it can just be yeah we're just sitting here on our phones but we're still together well uh, in the end the one she likes to give is 100% acts of service and the mine is quality time the one that we like to receive is more debatable we didn't really get into it because we're selfish <laughs> okay less about talking about love languages and more about the drawing right now i'm drawing me and rodriguez <laughs> kind of hard it doesn't roll off the tongue i've like found her through a friend we were at school and we were listening to music she gave me one of her uh, bluetooth headphones and we were listening together and this uh the music video of psycho acoustic um caught my attention and i really loved it so i <laughs> this sounds weird i searched the person and i found the channel and a lot of music videos I just uh, really really liked her <laughs> to the point I'm drawing her right now Wow drawing uh, took me f almost five hours kind of weird I know but oh well usually this like type of drawing would take me seven hours to like the maximum is seven hours but i really was kind of lazy with it <laughs> don't get me wrong it's a really nice piece but i think i could have done better and maybe i'll withdraw it but not right now because it took a lot of effort <laughs> and i just finished it so i'm not gonna i'm not going to draw it maybe if you do know Mia, please tell me what's your favorite song. Mine is Beautiful and Bittersweet. I just 
love it. I love the music video a lot. And also it's in the drawing right now. Uh, there are three versions of Mia. Uh, the middle one is the latest song that she put out. I love you. And it's a really, really cool song. I really like it. The left one is the one in Beautiful and Bittersweet. Um, it doesn't really show because she has a very big fur coat. I don't really know. I can't really see it in the music video. But it's very big. <laughs> and uh, the right one is in the music video of billion dollar bitch and it's a really nice song i think it was the first one that really really popped off i guess um but i suggest you really <laughs> listen to her because she's a very talented person on another note let's talk about what i've been doing um it's summer vacation if if you didn't know and i haven't been doing a lot of things i've been doing a lot of videos um but also i've been playing a lot of animal crossing i haven't touched the game in kind of a long time like two three like i don't know two months but it's it's really my life now I've been doing a lot of terraforming and a lot of playing. I don't know how many hours I have in the game, but more than a hundred, I think. I think. <laughs> I really want more fruits. I only have peaches and oranges and apples. Apples are my island fruit. Peaches were given to me by Roald. He went off my island, but it's fine, it's fine. He, he is in a better place right now. <laughs> and oranges are from mom. And that's cool. Also coconuts, but everyone has coconuts. I've, I really want to find people that play and like... I want friends, that's all I want. <laughs> Because not a lot of people I know play Animal Crossing, like none of them, but oh well. And I really, it's a really nice game, I don't know. <laughs> it's a mixture between Minecraft and Stardew Valley, or like something like that. But I really like it because it's in, in real life time and I don't have to rush. And it's really peaceful, I don't know. <laughs> Another game that I've been playing a lot is Unrailed. It's a really nice game. I found it on Epic. It was free at the time. But the first time I saw the game was on Markiplier's channel. When he played it with Bob and Wade. And it was so funny. I really laughed my ass off. And it's a really nice game also. I've been playing with my sister and my friends and it's kind of stressful but at the same time it's really really nice um, <laughs> we got to Mars I think on endless mode um, and <laughs> it was really funny because we we were dying of oxygen and it's so funny it's so funny I recommend the game I'm sorry if you didn't get it when it was free, but uh, oh well. <laughs> Careful next time. And the last game that I've been playing a lot, well not a lot, um, Valorant. Valorant. Um, it, I, I don't really like it. <laughs> it's very stressful. One game is like 13 matches or even more and it, it's really draining i usually don't play the, those kind of games like shooting games because it's it's not my style and so i've been playing with one friend 
but every time we play i'm like okay i don't want to play anymore <laughs> when is this gonna end even though i've gotten better i guess now i know what to do but i still don't know what guns to get and everything like that anyways i really need to ramble because this video is 20 minutes long <laughs> mm, i don't know i've been wanting to do real life videos well i mean um sketchbook videos not necessarily real well i guess <laughs> but i wanted to do more sketchbook videos because my eyes are tired <laughs> of looking at the ipad um and so i don't know if i can i don't know we'll see because my sketchbook i usually like to do spreads and it's usually very full i don't like leaving a little white so we'll see we'll see if i'm up for the challenge or maybe i'll do a video of painting over sketches that's what i've been doing a lot uh, recently because i've seen it on prickly alpaca alpaca's channel um it's really nice i've i've been watching them her i've been watching them for a while um and their videos are really inspiring because it's like very interesting stuff um making a skirt or uh, sketchbook sessions are really nice too very cozy um turning this thing into humans mostly goddesses or gods uh, my favorite one are the moths because her character designs are really interesting and it's very very inspiring to look at her i recommend her channel i'm so sorry if i misgendered you <laughs> i've also been watching a lot of paranormal stuff um on sam and colby's channel it's it's very funny usually because i don't necessarily believe in ghosts it's a really nice concept like being scared of something that you can't really see or do anything about it um and usually usually there are a lot of videos about um scary places um i know they they went to dracula's uh, castle and it was really funny because I, I know Romanian uh, and it was kind of interesting hearing the translation because they couldn't really speak to the ghost because the ghost well Vlad didn't doesn't know English um, but it was also funny because I know the place I've been there and it's surreal that they went there that's another story <laughs> I'm not gonna edit this I'm not gonna edit this audio because I need to work on my conversation skills and not edit my ums and uhs and everything like that <laughs> some other video ideas that I have in mind are a lot more um, draw with me's because I find them relaxing and maybe I'll talk a lot over them so yeah maybe some animations I don't know um, but because my life is pretty boring so I don't know how what to talk about it <laughs> but I, I know I started this channel when I was 16 15 somewhere in between <laughs> And my first video was an animatic for the song Don't Lose Your Head from the uh, hit musical um, 6. And it got a lot of views. And it's so... The, the drawings are so bad, oh my god. I did it in like 3 days, 2 days. Not even that much, I think. Um... And 
I did all the drawings in one day and the other day I made the editing stuff, like putting it all together. Um, I won't be doing any more animatics just because I got a lot of copyright strikes and that's not good because I want to do something with this channel, you know? So what I'm going to do is maybe animate just actual conversations between people and not songs because YouTube hates those <laughs> I mean, YouTube people, they love watching music videos and everything like that but YouTube hates well, YouTube loves giving copyright strikes <laughs> another video idea I have is making fruits into people I'm really working on what I want to draw I made like the images of what their aesthetics I guess would be like um, but it's really really hard because my art style doesn't want to cooperate with me it's kind of like having an art blog but not you can still draw and it will look good but not the way you want it let's go back to the drawing and talk about it um, I don't know what point of the video this is right now but uh, I'm gonna talk about maybe sketching I love sketching um, we've gone way past that but <laughs> I love sketching and putting more detail into sketching rather than doing line art or if I'm doing line art it's more sketchy on the sketchy side because Everyone knows that meme, like the sketch and the line art, who doesn't know it? Um, and it's really hard to make something look good, in your mind at least, when there's line art. Because, I don't know, the realness of the drawing went away. Uh, like, all the sketching that you've done is representative of your... I guess life but uh, not really but <laughs> it gives a lot of life into the drawing that you've made that's why like the sketchy version will always look better than your line art so that's why I keep um, my line art very sketchy because I would still like it I also do painting over um, my drawing because I've seen a lot of rendering on channels and I really like the paint style, I guess and it's really nice so I decided to rip it off <laughs> it doesn't really work with my uh, hand, honestly but I guess it's nice I have run out of things to talk about, so I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video. I uh, hope you liked it. Leave a like, um, subscribe. I really want to reach 1k uh, because it's like a goal that I have in mind. If you like the video, as I said, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, whatever you want. You know what, I'm not gonna make you do it. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, watch my other videos. I'll see you another time. Bye-bye. <laughs>